and welcome back family to marriage or hell nah fellas in this video we're gonna be talking about something deep and at the end of the day this is the reason why you guys are gonna have trouble finding wives in this country that we love called the united states now as we go through this video i think i'm gonna do it in a more abstract fashion to let you guys contemplate your own conclusions but one thing that i've started to discover is that these women are way nastier than what you guys think and i'm going to prove that here to you guys in this video now in this video we're going to explore her thoughty behaviors in ways you never even thought about but also i want you guys to pay attention to the decisions that she makes willingly but at the end of this video i'm going to show you guys exactly why you can read it right there on the screen i don't even want to say it at this point because youtube has been flagging all of my last few videos i guess that nick cannon video got them feeling some kind of way it's just annoying like they think that we're ever going to stop preaching this message because i want you guys to make better decisions for yourselves by bringing you guys this evidence but obviously susan doesn't want this information getting out so i'm just going to share this video with you guys and at the end i'm going to let you make your own mind up but i'm trying to tell you right now the picture that you see in there on the screen you better not even think about it. Without further ado, let's get into it. I don't know if this is a thing, but it should be a thing. I feel like you should have a number, like your goal of bodies you want. And like, don't have sex with them because you want to reach that number. Just have sex with them because you want to. And if you happen to reach that number, have a huge party, like a fucking rager. And you're going to invite all your friends. And then you're going to invite all the guys that you slept with. And you're going to send them like a nice invite saying like, oh my God, thank you. Like for helping me make this happen, blah, 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 blah. Are they going to show up? Probably not. If you're on good terms, maybe give them a plus one. So it's not weird. Um, and at like the middle or the end of the night, you're going to have an award show you're gonna be like and give all the guys an award and they're probably not gonna be there but i feel like it's really fun and if you want to be a hoe i feel like this is a good idea um so someone please do it i'm befuddled i'm perplexed i am dumbfounded it's women like that that always cause men to quote unquote judge a female by their past when in fact the female's past is what matters to a man the most just like how women care about a man that has a future, a man that is ambitious and is, you know, following his purpose. A man cares about a female that doesn't have a past. So if you believe you're a high, you're a high value woman, but you have a high body count, you're sadly mistaken. This isn't sexism, this is fact. If a girl has a high body count, she's a If a guy has a high body count, he's a legend. I love really true. Don't women typically consent to sex? Consent goes both ways. Right. Well, let me ask you this. What's the longest that a man's ever made you wait for sex? You know what? It's happened. I don't know. But does that typically happen? Maybe. No, it doesn't typically happen. Okay, so isn't it fair to say that women generally control access to sex more, more than men If do? a woman wants sex, she can get it. If a man wants sex, doesn't mean that he can necessarily get it. Okay, so is it safe to say that women typically control access to sex more than men do? And literally not think about you the next day Those oh, women don't behave that way so it's different for you than it Why? is for it's me Why? because we want a woman that can emotionally bond with us not one that's been a who can't later on a woman with Here's more than 10 whore. bodies has a higher rate of divorce with a man what's your right. craziest confession my mom was in the room right next to me right okay and there was five dudes at my house okay okay all of them trained jesus christ five yeah my mom didn't even care yeah Five dudes. That's what's up. Yes. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. So here's the deal. This continues while we're on the ground. I'm going to have to pull back to the gate. Everybody's going to have to get off. We're going to have to get security involved. Oh, and it's yeah. vacation that's going to be ruined. So you folks, whatever that airdrop thing is, went send a naked picture. Let's get yourself to Cabo. Hey, listen to me, honey. And they don't like y'all having these body counts. Not y'all. Oh, the Andrew Tate guy. Um, Talk about. But, but body counts is a double standard. You know, men can have, and men, women just cannot. So how y'all feel about that? It don't bother me none, but how y'all feel about that? I think unfortunately, as much as we want to be able to do the same things that men do without the backlash, 
it's just it's not a good look for women to have a high number of body count. It's just it's not attractive. And it's just that simple. A man's job is to try to gain access. A woman's job is to resist access. We are not the same. And so many women go out here thinking that we're both equals. We're not equals at all. We're complete opposites for most things. But there are times that exist where we can actually be on the same playing field. For instance, if you think about tradition and what we were supposedly put here to do in that particular act of bringing life into this world, that is the time that we are equal. But when women get this idea in their head that they can go out here and do the same things men do, it never leads to a good point. Now, shout out to this lady for saying it. But early on, I was a little concerned with how she brought our brother Andrew Tate into this discussion when many and many and many of men have said the same exact thing. Let's carry on. Did you consider yourself a big hoe before all this? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, how yeah. to explain. Give us some details. How did you, oh. when, did, when did you know you're a hoe? <laughs> okay, so for for this is so bad, but I mean, I don't talk to these people anymore, so who cares? But um, I had this like this poor guy I was dating. He's like my first boyfriend. Like, I lost my virginity to him and everything. But like, four of his friends, like after school one day, they're like, "Come with us to Taco Bell." They're like, "You should dump your boyfriend and have sex with all of us." And I was like, "Okay." Wow, and, and you were how and you old? Just did it. Well, I was like a piece of shit and I was really selfish and I was really horny. So I was like, okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm done. So okay. Oh, you what you think, man or females? Who got more body count? Females. Females? Oh, okay. So what do you think females got more body count? Because they're fucking dogs. Hey, uh Know how I know that women instinctively know that a low body count is, is beneficial? Because have you ever seen a chick and a chick argue? You know what? Do you know what the first thing a woman calls a woman she doesn't like? Slut. No. You're a fucking slut. You're a hoe. You're a hoe. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, so now, now, I a bunch of, now I'm a bunch of dick is bad because you don't like that girl. <laughs> so, but, but then you're a city girl. I like a bunch of dick. So women know instinctively that being a slut ain't a great thing. Damn. So if you had a great connection with this girl that had mileage, you're really going to pass it on just because of what yes. everyone's saying? Uh, well, because of what I know. <laughs> and and I mean, I, you might logic. not pass it on right away, but you're gonna keep your BDI up on it. You'll never. And if you it. see these qualities that they are referring to, because you will shrug it off or like yo him that, but once you start to see some of these qualities, you might look at her differently, mm -hmm. for real. You know what I'm saying? Because what what we gauge is not the same thing that you gauge. Men don't want men want an experienced women not no. I, I can't tell them in amount of body count, but as a man, we don't want to show up to any venue and be like, all these dudes then ran through what my precious jewel is supposed to be. Why is gold the most precious metal? For one, there's definitely health benefits for gold. Like even wearing gold helps regulate the electricity in your body, mm -hmm. right? And then also it's one of the most least amount of accessible items, right? Then you got silver, you got bronze, you got nickel, you got all those other things, right? And the more accessible those items are, the less value oh, yeah, that they yeah. have. Mm -hmm. So we look at women in the same kind of scope. So if this woman has been accessible like a penny, everybody on had a penny. We can't consider her as precious to us anymore. If they see him, shoot him on sight, no matter where the fuck he is. Let me see my truffle juice, let me smoke this truffle weed. Sex is important. Sex is very important. And I'm not going to talk about sex for a man. Sex is important to me. Um, I am not the type of female that can go without having sex. I will punch you in the face if I don't have sex within three days because my anger is at an all-time high because I need a release. I am not the type of female that believes in waiting on having sex because this is an interview. And if your interview do not go well, you will not continue to work here. I am not the type of female that uh, will withhold sex as a um, punishment because it's not punishing you. It's punishing me. Sex is important. I don't know about y'all, but if there's no sex in my life, in my relationship, or my marriage, I will go find some goddamn God else. Now, I'm pretty sure this brave soul thought that that was funny and cute, but can you imagine how many she has accumulated with this mindset? Better think carefully, gents. Let's keep going. Is this a red flag in the bedroom? 
Well, no, because he's being I mean, safe. I mean, we support safe sex, but I don't like condom sex. Oh, wait. Do y'all like condom sex? No. No? <laughs> I'll say one. Um, this is so funny. I actually fucked money back yo while he was dating Ari. What? Yes. Yes. I went... I went to, so I met him at, I was at Ball Harbor. I ran into him at Ball Harbor. I was shopping. He was shopping. And we, I ran into each other. I was like, oh, can I get a picture? Like, I'm like, mm, I want some dick. I'm like, can I get a picture? And he's like, yeah, just take a picture with me. I have the picture. I can pull it up. And um, <laughs> it's a GG. his homeboy. Appreciate the room check. <laughs> his homeboy was like, oh, he wants your number. And I'm like, okay, shit. So I got, I got his numbers. And we're hitting up the same day. Like, come through tonight. We're having a little party. And I slide through. And I was drunk, horny. You know, we fucked. No condom. I love vacation sex. You just get nastier. If you do anal, you had a little dookie on your sheet. But you'll just sleep in it. You're just like, <laughs> I'm serious in the hotel. You're not about to get up and be like, can somebody come change these sheets? Why not? Are you serious? I'm going to lay with the cum, but not with the shit. It's still bodily fluids. But it's a different fluid <laughs> that's carrying bacteria. It's not a it's dookie a cream. log, you guys. It's a skin <laughs> God damn. It's just a little slice of dookie on the sheet. Give up the license and registration or what? Are we gonna fuck in the cop car wet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she'll use that box any way she can to get whatever it is that she wants. Raise your hand if you ever dated a celebrity. <laughs> oh, everybody. French Montana. Oh, oh shit. he got He's, a big. He African. Did Actually, he cut a check? At the strip club, yeah. He did like like a 5,000. 5,000? 5, Absolutely. Damn. I was just wanting to say that he just went crazy. Why did it happen? He came to the club. He threw some money at me, whatever. We was cool. We was hanging out. Oh, y'all, after party. You know what I'm saying? We came to the, I went to the after party at his house. And then it was just like the biggest bed I ever seen in my life. He had this little massage chair. It cost he some had, money. He had heated toilet seats. Damn. Wow. Did you do it again? Absolutely. Yeah. We, we did <laughs> it was oh, bad. so it wasn't just one time. No, it was we, 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 we was cool. Fine. Fine. That's a legend. Yes, we gotta clap it up for that one. Hey, shit. All right, Peter Vaughn. How was it? It was amazing. Ooh, ain't he fine as hell? Girl, what one of the yeah. finest yeah. Did he do foreplay or go right in? Um, he a hood. Now, fellas, please answer me this question and let me know if I'm the one that's tripping here. The man asked a question to say, raise your hand if you have dated a celebrity. I find it rather odd that a lot of women confuse dating with smashing. These women are probably women that these guys bust down one, two, or three times, but yet they're so delusional to think that they dated these guys while steadily racking up these body counts. Now, the woman that we saw earlier in this video, Mrs. Diamond, Happened to get with French Montana. I guess he was just one of those 2,000 bodies that she has. Like I said, I'm from a military town, right? So rangers and all these handsome military men would come in. And me being the young southern little Alabama girl working at Buffalo Wild Wings, I loved them. They all would come in Buffalo Wild Wings. One would stay after, you know, I'd start talking to them. And I'd be like, let me finish sweeping and finish doing what I need to do. Go sit in the booth. And like, well, afterwards to have sex, like in my car. They would wait for me, like sit in the booth and they would wait. And I would like do my little section. I'd sweep and I'd go out. And then we'd like have sex in the back of the car and then they leave buffalo wild wings buffalo yeah. wild wings amazing it should be an actual <laughs> ad for buffalo yeah, wild yeah. wings this would buffalo like wild yeah. that would like they make would people wait. go to yeah. buffalo yeah. wild wings. i would yeah. love it and then i would be friends with all the new all the rangers i'd be friends with them we'd talk like i'd fuck them and then they would be like genie a new shipment of rangers are coming in and i'd be like my boys y'all got me nobody supports the troops harder <laughs> than genie yeah so. honestly write that down so now where are you calling us from columbus ohio 30 years old. Do you have any children? I have two. Okay. How old are your kids? 13, three. Why are you not with the three-year-old dad? I'll be totally honest and transparent. So my youngest daughter is a one-night stand baby. When was the last time you was intimate with a guy? You don't have to answer. Okay. Uh, I said I was going to be honest when, I, <laughs> when you asked this question. Um, today. We saw a guy. Who's that in the background? I, I told you who I was. <laughs> 
That's the guy you had sex with today? Wow. <laughs> you want to meet a guy while you have the guy you slept with in your house. What kind of quality man you think is going to hit you up? <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? I'm just getting get your ass on, man. Yes. I can't get your guy down. <laughs> But when you get with a guy, um, he knows what you do, etc. Like, is that like, because I always say it like a guy's going to have that talk with you. If you're a dancer, porn star, whatever, they're always going to say, I want you to stop. No, off the bat, I don't yeah. care who I'm with. They're going to know my body count off the rip. Okay. They're going to know everything I do. I say, you want to see it? Go to the body count. Or... Yeah, I don't think you told us. It's over 500. No. It's not over 600. Are you really a demon? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you really a demon? I mean, it's not like. I don't want to get too much into it, but I mean, I've been... I was a demon, demon, like, come on, bro. When you say the word afraid, it implies fear. Mm -hmm. Choice is not related to fear, right? I have a choice, I have options, and I will not choose a negative option or a detrimental option or an option which is less favorable than, than, than the other one. It doesn't mean I'm afraid. But what is the negative option? Why is it negative? It's negative because the likelihood of her falling completely in love with you and staying loyal to you and, and really believing you're the only man for her after being through so much trauma and so many men and sleeping with so many dudes and having her heart broken and having those memories of her ex and all that crap she's been through is far less likely than meeting a nice, young, beautiful girl who hasn't been with many men. And she goes, you know what? This is the guy I, I like him. Every woman who knows this and every man who watches this can be honest. Women fall in love with the person they lose their virginity to or their second or third guy. They really remember them. They really love them. Da -da. Any woman who slept with 50 dudes, she doesn't even remember who most of them are. She doesn't care. If a woman slept with a bunch of men before you, she's less likely to stick it out through a difficult period in a relationship. She's more likely to just say, you know what? New answers, new dick. That's a pretty and, good and, answer. And that's the truth. So why would Jeez. I put myself in a position? To no, be but, hurt. No, not to be hurt. To waste my time. Now, fellas, for this one right here, I'm not going to be able to play the music because it's just too loud with the copyright issues. But this one you need to pay attention to because I have told you over and over and over again, it starts much earlier than you guys think. This woman is 18 years old with a body count of 17. How the hell is that even possible? Now, if any guy out there tells you that a woman's body count is not important, what you need to do is exit stage left. Oh! <laughs> Shut up! So I made the right switch! Can they switch the numbers yep. to show me? Go ahead and look at me. Oh, I want to know so bad who got that high one. What would your sign say? We could put like three question marks. Great. Yes. Three question marks for three digits? Yeah, I was alcoholic. And so a lot of it, I'd made really bad choices. So I'm just going to put it up there. It could be like high. I mean, I'm getting up there. I should have known. I actually literally on my way here, I was like, it's going to be the one you don't think. How do you feel about that? So claimed my sexuality and learned what I liked and became confident. If you're going to offer to feed me, I'm going to eat. Like <laughs> She's going to eat. She's going to gobble. She's going to devour. Because at the end of the day, an upside down calculator is exactly what she wants to be. But well, look at this video, fam. 60, 46, 28. It's ridiculous. And you know these women are not even that old. But let's carry on. So a lot of guys wonder where women get this mindset from. Believe it or not, they get it from other women. Look at the role models that they have. You know, I got a lot of play of being a MILF and I um and I got a lot of sexual action from American Pie. That's revenge. Are you trying to seduce me? Yes, ma'am, I am. There were so many benefits to doing that movie. I mean there were about like like two hundred people that I would have never had slept with. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy ain't no way, boy. And this stuff is so real, family. That's the reason why I take my time when I do one of these type of videos. I want to show you all of the action and let you decide for yourself. But I'm telling you, it is a dirty, dirty world when you're out here dealing with these women. Because at the end of the day, they start out by doing thotty things at young ages. And even when they get older, they don't get much better. But then you also, as a man, got to think about yourself. Think about the effort and the time and the energy, the sweat equity that you put in at the age of 20 
working your way up from your first job to being able to stack a little bit of paper. And then once you stack that little bit of paper, she's going to turn up at your door at the age of 32 when that wall's about to approach after she's already in the danger zone. And she's going to be telling you that, guess what? She's ready. And all of the assets that you have acquired and say that now is the time that she's ready to settle down. And you are not going to know anything about her past. Bullshit you not. Especially if you listen to this channel. Because I'm going to prepare you guys. And that's my sole duty. Have you ever had sex with a celebrity? Yes. Who? Um, <laughs> <laughs> One of CMG members. ESCG. Hey. Okay. Hey. How many times did y'all do it? Like four. Like back to back or like? Yeah, back to back. Damn, you was Okay. Thick. <laughs> did he cut a check? No, unfortunately he didn't. I was drunk. <laughs> I know, I fucked up on that. <laughs> so listen, have you yes. ever done anything freaky to a celebrity? An NFL player. Like four oh. of them. Oh, four at the same week. time? In one week. I mean, I wanted to have fun. <laughs> I got flown out by four NFL players back to back and within Damn. one week. I was busy as fuck that weekend. And I made a bag. That's why they I'm They cut here. a check too? Yeah, all of them did. Wow. Actually, that was four. What were their names? Okay, I'm going to say the team Steelers. I think like three of them on Kansas. Three team members on Kansas City. Are you ever attracted to a woman who honestly says, well, I have been with 10 guys, and of those 10 guys, she goes into detail about the kind of sex she's had with them. Brilliant. Does it ever tell you that, you know what, this woman is the kind of person that if we're in bed, I don't have to ask her questions. What do you like? What do you want? She'll know what she wants to do. On a serious note, from, from my personal perspective, if a girl tells me that I've been with a lot of guys, that mm. is that, I'll probably more, be more inclined to just hit it and run. Mm. And that right there is the close, gents. Unfortunately, you may not like it, but at the end of the day, that's what your options are looking like. So don't be that dude who she's gonna come up to later on talking about she wants to be married, she wants to be provided for. All along, she has been out here thottying it up in her past. And for that reason alone, you are never gonna be able to connect with her, no matter what anybody tells you. Until next time, family, I'm out. Enjoy your Sunday, but choose wisely. Peace.